Hey everybody, my name is Hunter Brown and I am the PGA Director of Instruction for Birdwood Golf at Forest Head Resort. And I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts on uh, short game shots. So I'm going to share a couple different shots that I like to use around the green. Uh, I am using here a 60 degree wedge. Typically I recommend uh, most people to use one wedge, maximum two wedges when they're around the green. Uh, just to keep things a little more simple. This is a tool, if you can learn how to use this tool in different ways, um, I think you're going to be more successful around the greens. Uh, so there's three shots I really like to use uh, that are different trajectories based on the shot that I'm trying to hit. So the first one uh, is definitely going to be a little bit of a lower uh, shot that's going to run out. Uh, and if you can, I have a shot here that's hitting uphill and we're hitting into a bank. Um, we're out at the nest today, which is a great place to come out and practice some of the short game shots. Uh, so in this particular shot, I need to hit the ball a little low, run it up the hill, and have it continue to roll on the green. So uh, setup is definitely what I'm going to mostly change when I'm doing this shot. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually take the club face and turn it quite a bit closed. So you can see that there, maybe 30, 45 degrees closed. That's going to do two things. That's going to deal off the club, but also allow me to create some uh, in to out swing and have this ball rolling on the ground instead of spinning so much. So I'm going to turn that club again about 45 degrees closed and I'm going to have this ball position quite a bit uh, on my back foot here. So it's also going to keep the ball lower and help it run out. Uh, swing wise, when I'm trying to hit this shot, I am absolutely trying to keep this club coming from the inside to outside. So I'm kind of thinking in my head, this club head is going to swing to about two o'clock on the way through. That's going to create this trajectory of the club head combined with the club face being closed to create this hook, a little hook chip shot basically. And that's kind of what I call this one. So again, ball position back. That's going to take care of leaning the shaft. We don't need to lean the shaft any extra. That's going to get the ball going a little low. And again, I'm going to take this club head quite a bit inside moving the club head in to out uh, to about two o'clock. And hopefully, if I do this right, it'll come out low, skip up the hill, and run on the green. Should, let's look something like this. So that shot did exactly that. It skipped through the zoysia, uh, ran up on the green, and then continued to roll out. Uh, it's a really good shot whenever you have zoysia grass, which we do here at Birdwood, um, or if we ever have uh, Bermuda grass because sometimes you can get shots where the grass is actually growing into you and that ball wants to stick um, on the hill there so it's a really good one for that the second shot that I like to do is more of a neutral one so in this scenario we're really gonna have the setup pretty darn neutral club face slightly open because we're trying to use the bounce or the bottom of that club and the ball position pretty much in the middle shaft vertical and on this one, we're really just going to make kind of a stock shot, having this club head be basically toe up in this position to toe up on the way through. And this one comes out kind of mid trajectory, uh, skips, spins a little bit, and then rolls out. Looks something like this. Okay, and the third option is the really fun one. It's the uh, high spinning wedge shot. So, whenever we're trying to do this, we're trying to get maximum friction between the ball and the club. So we're going to definitely change our setup. We're going to actually go ball position quite a bit back, but I'm going to open the club face a ton. Okay, so that's probably a good 20 to 30 degrees. That's going to allow me to create maximum friction between this club and ball. My hands are still pretty darn neutral. I don't need to lean the shaft too much. And I'm really focusing on when I finish, this club head is going to be facing back towards me. Okay, so that club head is going to be looking back towards me when I finish. That's super important for maintaining the loft, using the bounce, having that bottom of the club brush the grass and create maximum friction between the club and ball. Okay, so ball position back, club head again about 20 to 30 degrees open, and then I'm really focusing on keeping that club pointed back towards me in the finish. This one's gonna come out about the same trajectory as the last one, but hopefully spin a lot more. So that one just took one nice uh, skip and then came to a stop. So next time you're out uh, practicing your chipping, give these three techniques a try and hopefully they help you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.